Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are diving into one of the most essential tools in the world of software development, that is Sentry. Sentry is a versatile and powerful error tracking and monitoring tool that is necessary for modern software development. Its real-time monitoring, customizable options, and wide range of language support make it preferable choice for developers looking to maintain high-quality and reliable applications. Nearly 4 million developers and 90k organizations rely on Sentry. In this video, I will explain everything you need to know about Sentry. I will explain why Sentry is so special than other tools, how Sentry dashboard looks like, and I will show you how you can connect your project to Sentry account. But before showing you the practical part, let's first discuss what makes Sentry so special. There are different factors that make Sentry first choice for developers. The first is the error tracking. Sentry is primarily used for error tracking and monitoring in software applications. It helps developers identify, diagnose, and fix errors and issues that occur in their applications. Another advantage is real-time monitoring. Sentry provides real-time monitoring of errors and exceptions, allowing developers to be alert immediately when something went wrong in their applications. This proactive approach helps in maintaining the health of the software. Another advantage that Sentry provides is language and platform agnostic. Sentry supports a wide range of programming languages and platforms, including Python, JavaScript, Ruby, Java, and many more. This versatility makes it suitable for a variety of development environments. Sentry also provides free plan for developers. These are some of the companies that use Sentry to manage their products, such as GitHub, Disney, Atlassian, Slack, Microsoft, and some other as well. So let me show you how you can connect your favorite project with Sentry and monitor its logs. I am on the official website of Sentry, that is Sentry.io. First of all, you need to create your free account on Sentry by clicking on this Get Started button. If you already have an account on Sentry, you can sign in on Sentry. I have already created my account on Sentry. This is the Sentry dashboard that you will see after creating your account on Sentry. First of all, you need to create a new project. It is preferred to create separate projects for different applications, like separate project to monitor logs and errors of front-end and back-end. You can create your new project by clicking on this Create Project button. It will show you various platforms that Sentry support, like you can connect Sentry with Android application, iOS application, and some other uh, platforms as well. In this video, I will show you how you can connect your Django project with Sentry. Let's connect Django here. So the Django is selected. Now I need to set up the alert frequency. I am setting it on alert me on every issue. You can also set up after how many occurrence of issue the alert will occur. Let's name my project like I am naming it as testing project. And the name of my team is node. It doesn't matter for you. Let's create a new project. Then Sentry will provide you with very helpful support about configuring the Django SDK. First of all, you need to install the uh, Sentry SDK package in your project. Let's copy the name of this package and move to my VS Code. So first of all, I need to install the Sentry SDK in my project. As I am using the virtual environment, therefore I need to use the pip env to install the package. It will take some time and install the Sentry SDK package in my project. The Sentry SDK is successfully installed in my project. Let's verify this by going to pip file. You can see the Sentry SDK under my packages. Let's move back to the documentation to follow the next steps. Now I need to move to the settings.py file and add these lines there. Let's copy this and move to my settings.py file. Now let's paste the already copied code in our settings.py file. I am pasting it as start of my file. By default, the trace sample rate is set to 1 to 100% capture of transaction for performance monitoring. And the last step is 
to verify the sentry installation by creating a route that trigger the errors we need to perform to we need to add these lines in our urls file let's copy these lines first of all i am copying the first two lines and let's move to our uh, urls.py file i need to paste these lines before the url patterns after that i need to copy this path that will trigger the error so we are done we have successfully configured sentry in our django project now let's run this to uh, create some alert i am switching to my uh, another terminal and run this application we need to hit this sentry debug route when i hit this sentry debug route you can see that vn by zero error this means some errors has occurred in our application this should trigger the alert in our sentry account let's move back to my sentry and click me click that takes me to the issues you can see it has triggered an alert that vn by zero error if you want to see some more details about the uh, error it will show you like on which browser the error has occur on which operating system the error has occur and it also show you the line where that is causing the issue sentry will provide you with complete details about the exception so if anything went wrong in any of your api sentry will trigger the alert and you will get notification about the error and you can easily fix it so in this way you can set up sentry in your project and monitor its logs so that's it for this video thank you very much